on that note. <laughs> yeah. Roberta's working on our jingle, or what do you call it? It's going to be a jingle. A theme song? Yeah, it's a jingle um, for, our, for our podcast. Yeah. And I already wrote some lyrics. <laughs> Bars. Yeah. She really did. Bars. So coming soon. <laughs> You wrote you wrote a couple of cool little lines. I wrote so. one. She didn't give me. I didn't. I didn't know we were writing yet. But now I'm really <laughs> take it seriously. <laughs> but today's episode, we are here to talk about vanilla, uh, which is like the most used note in fragrance history, like ever. Obviously, it's just delicious, and I don't know. I feel like I think everybody, like for the most part, everybody's initial like introduction into smelling good is something vanilla like don't you think it's like you when you're why? little I think because yeah because it's so creamy it has like a feminine feel it's known to be like you know an aphrodisiac yeah actually there's a study that um vanilla mm -hmm. and pumpkin spice are like two of the scents that get a guy's dick hard <laughs> See, I didn't even know about the pumpkin spice, but as soon as you told me and our mutual friend Courtney, we went and like ordered that shit right away. We were like, "Where is just this like oil? layer it?" Yeah. Oh yeah, the pumpkin spice body butter. <laughs> we were in Bahamas. I was making, making you guys all fine. Yeah. Hey, I want I want good sex on all of my friends. That you know that you're a good friend. Yeah. Because a lot of friends don't share. And I, I know a lot say, of bitches would have kept that to themselves. Well, of course, because they want all the dick to themselves. But sharing is caring. Share that dick. <laughs> I mean, no, share your... <laughs> share your secrets. Don't share the dick. Share the secrets. Share your dick secrets. Sh yeah. Share the dick secrets. There you go. So we have a... Together we have like 33. I think you have 18. I have 15. Vanilla scents here. They're not all straight vanilla. They're like mm -hmm. vanilla concoctions. Um, I think we should just go like rapid fire back and forth and like, you know, say if you have anything special to say about them, go ham. We're going to show everything. I feel like our viewers can tell us if they want us to review something deeper and I would be happy to do that, that on one of our, our, our IG <laughs> or our TikTok. But we've pre-picked like a few of our favorites, I think that like are just super unique, delicious, amazing vanillas. But I think... All of these in general are still like honorable mentions. Like they're all good. But no. some of them are like really, really good. Yeah. There were some I left on my shelf that I was like, oh, this is considered vanilla, but I hate it. So yeah. I'm not bringing it. <laughs> I feel that. So yeah. But um, I think we have a really good collection. Yeah. Here. I want to definitely smell some of yours that I haven't smelled. Do you want to do the honorable mention later of opening that one box? <laughs> you know I do. My eyes been on it since you, know you got I'm here. I'm like, I like. And I'm like a little kid when I see an like a wrapped box I'm like that's for You're me like Christmas. who hasn't opened it <laughs> like you know little were kids you, were you that kid that used to open your gifts before Christmas no I would well I would open a piece oh that that counts <laughs> Lena <laughs> and we Cheater. were we were allowed to open one gift on Christmas Eve oh okay yeah yeah but I had I was the one that was up gifts. at like 4 a.m oh you were up at 4 a.m yeah like waking everybody up like Excite, like nervous yeah. almost. That's yeah. so crazy. Well, I had holes in all my gifts. Yeah. So I was like, I already knew. And and I like messed my own Christmas up because I'm like, yeah, I now have to pretend that yeah. I'm like surprised. Oh, <laughs> meanwhile, like I already knew three weeks ago what it was. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So parents probably should not put their uh, children's Christmas gifts underneath the tree. Yeah. If I. Like, the night before. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't until yeah. the night before. I get it. I and I get that you want to just get it done. But I feel like that just reminded me of something that really just broke my heart is I really, really, really wanted these Adidas shell toes, <laughs> baby pink. But my mom got me like fuchsia pink. Oh, yeah. You were not happy. I was really not happy. And I really made a fuss about it. And I and I was just such a little brat. entitled ass really? child. <laughs> but like when you see now what I do for a living, like the people at the nail shop, like they think I'm psycho, but like You're I particular. see lines and I colors, like I'm very particular about yeah. things. And it's just like I if I said hot pink, I would have you, you know, if I wanted hot pink, pink I would have yeah. said hot pink. No, I get it. I don't blame you, but you know, you could have been a little nicer to your mommy. No, I know. <laughs> Growing up, I've learned, like, not everybody, like, really pays attention to details the way that I do. Like, yeah. an insane person, but... Well, you live and you learn. What is the one that's not opened? I just want to know for now. Oh, it's Coco Vanilla by Mancera. Oh, I've been wanting to smell that one. And I have a feeling it's probably going to smell like 
suntan lotion. Yeah, I need to know. What I that feel like, like it will, and I and and I actually am not against those smells. I I find myself like, even though I'm like, oh, this smells like suntan lotion, but then I I love I those. like the notes. I'm like, ah, eh. like so. that one that I got. Remember from Parfums de Marley that I was. When I went to visit you and I had a sample and I was like, oh, should yeah. I get this? Yeah. I am literally forgetting it. the name right now. Yeah, I ordered it that day. So, so Sunshine that Lotion. And like expensive shampoo. I love those smells. But that's not what we're talking about today. So let's okay. get into some vanilla. Let's, Show let's me your first vanilla. like, like not like, you know, just like a, a cute, good one. Because this one is my, is this my most recent purchase? Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> but one of the most recent. So it's, um, I think I'm saying this right, Kayali, yeah. Vanilla 28. So I say it. Um, it's by Huda Beauty. And I think she is a mastermind with yeah. her. She, I mean, she I'm just like, I think she's just dope for doing what she, she does. Built an empire, yeah. you know? So um, I really like this. And, you know, I don't know if you can see how, like, dark it is. But I don't really, I don't really go for, like, dark smells per se, but I think it has bourbon in it and um, it, it just, it feels like a little boozy, maybe not bourbon, That's but right it, my it does alley. feel like a boozy, you know, type of vanilla, but I love how spicy it is. Yeah. It has like a spice element and the way I can describe it, it's like, I think it has brown sugar. So then I think of the song <laughs> by D'Angelo, Brown Sugar, and I almost feel like Angie, Angie Stone had this shit on. And she like seduced him. Something like it. Smell. Yeah, yeah, because it's really like it's it's just a a very um not hypnotizing. Seductive. But it's seductive. It's really seductive. I need to smell it. You I gotta smell, smell it. it. Do you wanna do it on a test for No, I if we're Okay. I might use that for something else, but I'm cool <laughs> with smelling like thirty three different vanillas today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so oh, does, this is nice. It has brown sugar. It has tonka bean, not bourbon. Um, I love tonka when it's done right. I have one with tonka. I don't like it. Yeah. And you know what's funny? Ooh, that's it's nice. musky. It has patchouli, which is not my favorite, but I find patchouli is in a lot of my favorite scents. And I'm like, I didn't I think, think I like patchouli. Like I, but I don't think I like patchouli alone, but yeah. I think it just like creates a different type of note. But yeah, this is it. I think this is like a man magnet. I think it's sexy. Interestingly, on Fragrantica, it has like the low, it doesn't have low ratings, but it has like the same complaint. People are complaining that the longevity is like terrible. And I'm like, eh, I don't think so. I think it's fine. You yeah. Know, you might have to reapply, but like who doesn't have to reapply? Right. I love it. I think it's amazing. And it's a good purchase. I mean, it's not entirely expensive. You get it at Sephora um, or you can get it on her website. I think she tends to have like, I don't think she has specials often, but she might. I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, I'm going to quickly mention it because I don't feel like it needs a lot. Oh, okay. Another um, Kayali. I don't like this one. You don't? No. And okay. it's actually Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli, which, okay, so I, it's not like I don't like it, but it's Okay, nothing, this one I'm going to do a strip for. Okay. It's literally nothing special to me, It and this one really doesn't last long. It reminds me of a really weak version of Angel. So I, it's like it, everything about it is like, okay, it's oh, nice. It does remind me of But it's Angel. like, you know, it's not as complex as Angel. And it's, it's just okay. It was like, okay, I have it. This is something that I would probably throw in my purse. I didn't, I don't know if I said the name. K. Alley Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. Yeah, it's just okay. And I guess like even the kind of, bottle and everything is like I would easily throw this in my purse and I it's like the patchouli in this one yeah it's well it's in the name so yeah. I guess it's a stronger so, note yeah I'm good on that <laughs> it Just really like this dried like smelling it here reminds me of when I smell angel on my clothes and I was like ooh, this is because I don't want to take my big star everywhere because I've already cracked a few of them like I keep cracking them <laughs> and um this was like oh this is a cute little purse perfume and it is but nothing more nothing well less. I will say I it's whatever I I think her packaging is really nice. Yeah. It's cute. It's catchy. You know, she, in general, I think she makes good perfumes, you know? There's but nothing um, wrong with this. It's just not stand out for me. When you start, like, yeah, really collecting and appreciating, like, you know, it's just okay. And it's, it's, it's really, it's just. Well, since you picked out one that you don't like, why don't you pick one out that you do? Okay. It's so. Like one of your favorite vanillas. 
One of my Another favorites. gold bottle. Yeah, I really <laughs> didn't notice that. With all my fucking fingerprints all over it. It looks so, it's like driving me crazy. Silky Woods. This is one of my new favorite brands, oh. Goldfield and Banks. Um, they really do beautiful perfumes. They've got one. I don't know. Yeah, the Botanical Series. I've already bought four from this series. Damn. They, um, they really just smell so delicious. Uh, this is like suede. Vanilla, lavender. I think there's a little bit of lavender in there. I love when it's lavender um lavender. so it's really powdery. Okay. And vanilla, but like anytime there's suede in something, it's like Give me. I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> oh, this smells good. It I love smells the so good. So there's something. Oh wait, literally, now I smell the the, the suede. suede. It really makes my mouth water. Like I literally am just salivating. There's something about I'm hungry about it. <laughs> there's something about when leather or suede notes are blended just like to perfection. It literally makes me salivate. There's something so beautiful about it and rich and just like mm, it just the way that it just like <laughs> move like it just like becomes this thing on your skin. Cause when I first smelled it, I actually bought a perfume that I fucking hated. And I felt so shitty about it that I begged them to please take it back, which I've never done. But I, it was an which all. Store was this? It was Twisted Lily, and I, it was something with a very strong almond note that I blind bought. Oh, almond like makes me almond. nauseous. You don't like almond. And we're talking about that with. The I was like, I really, really just can't wear this, and I didn't suck it up. I just was like, so anyway, they gave me like half my money back, so I blind bought this one. And when I first smelled it, I was like, Ugh, it smells like tires. Like it just. But no, it has a good. I letter. started like walking. I think I had to go to the post office to like drop something off. And I, as soon as you step outside again, it's like that thing when you step outside and you can really smell it. I was like, whoa. So I actually wore this on my birthday this year, which is to me a special thing because like if you wear something on your birthday, that's just like that's special. You want it, you want that memory, you know. Mm -hmm. And I smelled it on my dress the next day, and it's just like it's just so yummy and rich and like sophisticated and sexy it yeah it's very classy it's a classy yeah. smell for sure love it that's a that's a mess okay what is my next one okay oh um i am going to go with this one this if you ask for a vanilla scent this is as raw as pure of a vanilla it's almost like you know like the um the imitation vanilla um, drops that you can put in like your cake. Yeah. It, Baking vanilla. It's bas basically that. It is. But it's so good. I um, I sprayed it on at Lucky Scent. Actually, Johnny. Shout out to Johnny. I'm always. <laughs> it's your man. Someone's going to be like, girl, do you have a <laughs> obsession with Johnny? I just find him to be so like unique because he was able to differentiate on someone's arm that had all these scents on it. He was able to like tell right, Courtney. my friend like which one it was, but he's the one that guided me to this. Cause I was like, I really would like just like a regular vanilla. This is Tijota. Um, it's by Indult. Um, people complain about the price point. Cause this is like, um, how many ounces is this? I think, well, anyway, it's $225 for this little bottle. So a lot of people thought it was just overpriced. Um, but yeah, this is like as raw as you're going to get. It's a very basic linear vanilla, but it smells so good yeah, on your skin. So I find it like easy to layer this. You can easily just put this on as like your base and then throw on like something that either is a little fruity or a little musky or whatever. But um, you should try it. It's really nice. It's like, let me see what, um, what else am I missing about the indult? Yeah. It's just a true Ooh. vanilla. Yeah, so it's 50 mLs. It's 220. Um, what I was going to say about it is, guess who the maker of that perfume is? Who? The same guy who made Baccarat. Oh, yeah. interesting. Francis Kurdijan, whatever his name Kurt is. Kurdijan? Okay. <laughs> Like I pronunciate all. I the syllables. literally watched someone say it, and I googled because when I don't know, I google yeah. the pronunciation because it's like I I hate saying MFK. I'm like, what the fuck is the name? I love this. It's it's like a safe blind. It's buy. really good. That's an amazing layerable vanilla. It's a great layerable vanilla. Yeah, 
like I said, I love blind buys because sometimes it's kind of like fun. Like, Same. what am I going to get? You know, but if I blind bought that and was expecting a vanilla, I would be over the moon. I'd be like, yes. Yeah. They it's understood like the literally, assignment. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing really extra, but it's like There's you don't need it. That's it. like sometimes what you need because we love layering. And I think yeah. sometimes when your perfume is missing something, it's like vanilla is the perfect like That's the perfect base. base. See, like that I would layer eas more easily than the Kayali, even though I have layered it with, with her. But it is a little spicy, so I have to, you know, pick and choose because I don't want to be like, you know, a spice bomb. I'm just yeah. like walking out smelling like 30 different notes. Like I think that's such an easy layerable perfume. So yeah. It's become one of my favorites for sure. Yeah. Now, if I was to pick one that I don't like. Or that's just okay. Um, okay. Well, this would make for another episode, but um, because this is supposed to be like classified as like a baby doll scent as well, not by the actual like maker but by like all the reviews they all compare it to like the head of a strawberry shortcake doll but this montel muckalot i don't know how to pronounce that um it's a vanilla based perfume and i just find it to smell like bathroom cleaner but not like not like a strong you know not like a not like a strong disinfectant smell, more so like a lemony smell, but like the air freshener they put in a public toilet. Yes. Oh, I hate yeah. that smell. I hate that smell. Yeah. But it's like when you tell me, you know, when you focus, like, okay, so say someone has like hella BO, <laughs> or that's what you think you smell, but then all of a sudden someone's like, wait, it's salsa and chips. It's wait, like what? it changes and you like you're like, wait, I could it doesn't smell so oh, bad. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So it's like if you tell me that that's the public bathroom, I smell that. If you now tell you me it's it. a strawberry shortcake, I smell that. But the thing is, I don't want to leave that up to chance to some random stranger that thinks I smell like bathroom. So I actually put this on one day <laughs> and I was like, you know, at work doing Botox on a male client and I was so self-conscious I was like you wore it oh you wore yeah, it yeah I wore it I had it on my wrist <laughs> and I'm like doing his Botox and I'm like oh fuck I hope he doesn't smell like bathroom yeah because I I already put it on I was trying to layer it with something and it just didn't work but I was like eh, I'm just gonna go to work and just see what happens right day but he was like my first client and I was like oh shit he's about to get that lemony bathroom smell yeah that is not that fresh to me it's like just like you said like that air freshener it just has like yeah know, so everybody knows that I smell. don't smell baby doll head. I smell bathroom. I don't smell vanilla. So I don't know where the fuck the vanilla is in this, but you know, they got me fooled. This was a blind buy. Yeah. Nah, it will look nice on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. It's I like wish whatever. you would have liked it. I'd have been like, you can have it. You know? I know. But yeah. So that's one that I am not a fan of. So I'm going to pull out. Sultan, have you smelled this? No, but that bottle is Royal Crown Immaculate. This is extremely expensive. I think it's over five hundred dollars. Oh shit! I didn't know that at the time. I just bought it <laughs> and then got my total. But I went to Vancouver recently um, to visit some family, <clears throat> and I found, of course, like I make it like a thing now of like when I'm traveling, like where is there a niche fragrance shop? You know, I need to smell that because that bottle is it's amazing. very cool. Okay, this. Okay. You just said spice bomb a minute ago. This is a spice bomb. A spice bomb. Okay. It's, but it was like one of those ones where I was like, whoa, what is this? A man, if I smelled this on a man, I would be like weak in the knees. It's so like, is it unisex? Definitely. Okay. It's very smoky and incense -y. There's lots of spices. I'm actually going to pull up the notes. Um, but it's, it's man. very, this is like a, a <laughs> very confident woman who knows who she is and what she likes. Like that is a no. Don't fuck with me, this vanilla. This is light. It's very subtle. And but at nighttime, when you wear that outside, it's like wait, I smell incense. Exactly. It's like very spicy. Wait, did you? Okay, so oh, yeah, it's the. Did you actually smell this cedar. in the store and then you bought it? Yeah, but when I'm in there, it's like I smell so many. <laughs> so I'm just like, but that one, but it's like you know, it's like fruity and sweet but like it's also got those spices and it just like this to me does this have myrrh in it yeah okay so let me tell you 
what happens with the smell with me. I went to Catholic school all my life. And so we had to go to church like once a week almost. Um, and they always mm. had that incense. Yeah. But it was like, it was like the myrrh. And I loved it, but I loved it in church. Yeah. I don't know that I would want it, it on me, but that's what it reminds yeah. me of. I would I wouldn't wear this necessarily on <laughs> Wait, a date. I just smelled the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm. like, wait, the strip is here. I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, I would, that was like a, I don't know what like I would a real wear dumb this. moment. I would wear this if I was just wanting to feel honestly like powerful. I feel like th this is a base though. Cause it, it's definitely. But I like those kind of commanding scents. You know what I mean? It's Where it's almost like you're like, pulling people in because yeah. it's like, what is that smell? And then you're like, oh, come closer, smell it. It's like a woman that wears, you know, I feel like, like cologne, like a black cashmere sweater and like, you know, slicked hair and like long nails, just like very classic and like a boss. That's what this reminds me I'm of. I'm trying to figure out that brand and what makes it, I guess maybe the ingredients when they source So it, they use expensive. like, um, forget what the percentage was, but it's like, a high I don't know, 70 to 80% like oils, perfume oils. So it lasts forever. Okay. Like, and it's just really, that's why it smells so smooth. It's just blended so well and they use really, really high quality is. ingredients. It really is. Like, it's not like, it's, but it's it's spicy, but it's very subtle. Yeah. So it's not like. It's not one of those like offensive, face. like, Bleh. Yeah. Like sometimes how oud can be, you know, where it's just like so sharp. Oh, this is not my favorite. Yeah. So I like this one. Yeah. Special. Okay. What's my next one? Ooh, my favorite one. Oh, I love this one. And I got this for you for your birthday, not realizing you already had it. But yeah, Gentle Fluidity by Maison Francis. Kirk Dijon. <laughs> Harry. So this to me is like a very mature vanilla. It's so complex. I feel like it's like multidimensional. It just has so many layers to yeah. it, you know? Um, it's like a it's like a really it has like a clean vanilla to it, I think because there's juniper in it. So it has like that little bit of like the juniper breeze. But um, yeah, this is like one of my faves. Yeah, I really love that and one. And this is one that I can layer all day, yeah. every day. But you don't have to because it is so complex. Um, you already know what it smells like. So That one I blind bought and I didn't, I actually didn't even love it at first. But it's one that just like, you start to crave that smell. It's just like, yeah, it's. I don't know. Again, it's like it's complex. It's very pretty. It's, it's very so pretty. pretty. It's and it and it like it settles very powdery too. So which I love. You know, which we we both yeah. love the powder. Um, so I like to get into prices so people would know. This is a two point four ounce and it it um retails for two point five, which I think is reasonable, but it is it's still expensive. It's not bad. But it's not bad. And you do get a lot of longevity because I've Use this a lot and you don't have to spray too much. Yeah. You know, I think like two or three sprays are good. And if you're layering, you might just need like one or two. Yeah. So, my favorite from that house besides Baccarat. <laughs> yeah. The Baccarat. And Oud Satin Mood, which we were just talking about. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go into Rupert Christie. Tutu, which you almost bought, yeah. I think. I did. So you know what? I actually want to put that on me if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah. It's this one's very Okay, this one I would I say love the packaging. Yes. If you're like a girly girl that likes fruity, pretty, uh, this is actually soft. vanilla. It's vanilla, but a fruity is like the stronger note. Um Oh yeah, I have I have to buy this. It's so pretty. Like to. this is just I would literally describe it as lovely. It's just a lovely inoffensive, easy, gross. pretty. It's a little bit lactonic, like coconutty. Okay. It's like I love that. creamy. It's smells like sweet tarts. Made my mouth water a little bit just smelling it from the thing. It does. And it's I just think, you know what? The tuberose does give like a very bubblegum yeah. candy like, you know, scent. So um that is really pretty. I think Again, I was spraying a shitload of things exactly. that day, and I ended up walking out with the indult. Well, the indult they had to ship to me because they were out. Yeah. But um, I think it might have collided with another perfume, and then I ended up not. This was a 
I was charging my car and went into Scent Bar. I bought this and another one. Um, and I right when I smelled it, I did one of those like, whoa, what's that? And it was, it's just so, again, just lovely. Like it's so feminine and sweet. It, it, it genuinely reminds me of like, if you're stepping out in the summer and you're wearing like a little like pretty dress, not super sexy. It's really just dress? like, you know, like a nice A-line, a little flowy. Okay. That's like a little vintagey. It's just very feminine and dainty, beautiful. It is. Yeah. Fruity, vanilla, sweet, little floral, little powdery, milky. It's just like, but fruity is like what I get right when mm. I first smell. No, the fruity is the opening for sure. Do you know what fruits? Let me see. Me? I wonder if it's. Where's my tutu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, closer to me. Coconut, apple, and grapefruit. And then there's raspberry in the base note. And raspberry in the base. That's so that's so, so yep. And there's musk and amber, raspberry and vanilla in the base. There's heliotrope, rose, and jasmine in the middle notes. And the opening spray is coconut, apple, grapefruit, and cassis. So it's just oh, it's so a lot of fruit. Fresh and oh, beautiful. Yeah. And it literally reminds you of like wanting to twirl yeah. around in a tutu. Like it's just so beautiful. So pretty. The bottle couldn't be more perfect for the name. Like, or for the for the name and the smell. How about, how about if a girl was wearing a tutu? Yeah, why not? Would you ever make tutus? Um, I did make collection? a custom tutu for a friend's niece once. And other than that, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a friend that makes custom tutus. And people actually, shout out to Shelly Rio. She <laughs> makes these custom tutus and people buy them off of her from Etsy. And they wear them in like marathons and... Disney, you know, there's like people that are like infatuated with Disney. Like, oh yeah, actually, she's one of them. Shelly is like a forty-something-year-old woman that (laughs) will go to Disney and like put on her mini ears and will wear a tutu and yeah, that's her thing. But people, people are really. If you love Disney, you really love Disney. You love Disney, like yeah. That's not me. For me, I feel like if I have to take. A child there, it, I have to like prep talk myself days before. Like, all right, girl, you gonna get through this. The first time I came to LA before <laughs> I moved here with my boyfriend, there's literally pictures of me standing in lineups. Like, lo- I wouldn't even look in the camera because I was in such a bad mood waiting in all the lines. And I don't do well in terrible. big crowds of lots of people. Yeah. I just it's not my thing. And the rides last like five seconds, but you're in there for like 15 minutes. It doesn't make any. Sense. <laughs> all right. So, um, last but not least. another Montel scent, but this one I actually truly enjoyed. And I wish I would have blind bought this because I'd have been happy, but I was given a sample. Actually, I I bought a sample from Lucky Scent. Was it? Which one is it? Um, Montel Vanille Absolute. And um, I ended up pouring the whole fucking sample on me. I was like, shh, because it was so good. And I was like, fuck, now I don't have any more. So I had to like, you know, order it online. But this is a very cakey, sweet vanilla, but it's layerable. Pretty one dimensional. There's not, I don't think there's that many notes in it. Yeah. <laughs> There's supposed to be cinnamon. I don't smell any cinnamon smell. in there. Um, but it's just cloves, vanilla cloves and woodsy notes. And that's it. It's very, oh, you got to oh. take that metal. It's like a bomb. <laughs> I know. I have one out. like that, that it comes off and then one where it's, it's like stationary. Oh, it stays. It. It's very it's sweet. It's pretty. Yeah. It's very sweet. It's safe. It's like more juvenile. Like I think the gentle fluidity is like for it is. a more, it's, it's more grown up. And this one's more like, oh, you can put this on like, you know, your 15 year old daughter. Yeah. But I really liked it. I thought it, it just smells clean to me, but it's very sweet. Um, I don't know about the longevity of it, but who cares? I don't really care about that. Do you care about like how long it lasts? Because I, I like to throw my perfume in my bag. The only I thing really I, I'll sometimes have a thing about is like the <laughs> sillage or sillage. Sillage. Um, I want to be smelled sometimes a little more than leave, other times. You want to leave a little, a little trail, trail of yourself. I, I want people to be like, it was, it was, it was, was the bad bitch in here. 
<laughs> yeah, you reminded me of Jamie Foxx right there. Remember when they were doing that roast? <laughs> it's your conscience. Like, it's your conscience. <laughs> I should probably stop now. <laughs> this isn't funny. <laughs> Yo. That was he's really, a fool. Yeah, he's a fool. Um, But <laughs> I, yeah, so I loved it at first sniff. It was yeah. one of those, I'm, I feel like, I like you it. could wear like a sweater. It's like sweater weather. You know, perfume. It's yeah. Gourmandi, it's cakey. Yeah. You know. Speaking of. Yeah. There's a couple more here that I want to give honorable mentions to. But we're going to talk about Baby uh, Cat. Baba Cat. <laughs> um, I think the name is perfect for it, honestly. It's like smoky, incense So do you know about or how the incense smells copal? It's like a resinous, fat instant, incense stick. And like I buy it from downtown, I've bought it from Mexico and bring it back. It's like it just smells extremely unique. Like you can't not know that smell. No. And it smells exactly like this, mixed with like some spice and vanilla. It's just like a smoky, spicy. It's like this perfume to me is like the epitome of like or the equivalent to like a leather jacket with like nothing but lingerie underneath. Oh, you know, it's really got sexy. that like juxtapose of like it's strong and smoky in this, but then it's got this soft, like sexy vanilla. It's a very unique vanilla. And I was complaining about the longevity. Okay. Because I had only done like a couple sprays. I have not worn this out yet and like out about town and actually seen what it's because outside it becomes like a beast, right? Like I feel like all perfumes just come alive when you step out into like the air. Yeah. So who knows yet? But um, I, I hope it, it does because it smells amazing. I have one of these YSLs and I love the packaging. I think the the, the bottle is really Yeah, nice. me too. Magnetic top. Mm. It's unique, I right? I smell So, what was that thing that you said in the beginning? Oh, I really the more I smell it, the copal. Yeah. Yeah, there is. There's two different types of like resin. Um it reminds me of the myrrh a little bit. Exactly. It's just a little more incensey. Uh, it's got like that Middle Eastern like incense. Um, yeah, Elimian ola, oliba, Olibanum. I don't know how to fucking say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, like the saffron can also have a leathery smell. There's also suede in the base note and like cedar and pepper. And like, yeah. you know, it's just like. It's just, it's definitely like a sweater weather vanilla. I love how diverse their collection is. They can go from that to something that's like extremely floral and sweet. Yeah. Um, I think I have Jumpsuit by them. And Jumpsuit is more of a safe fragrance. It, that was probably not my favorite, but I did buy it based off of the reviews. It was a blind buy. Same with, I bought Tuxedo and this of a blind buy, and Tuxedo is more patchouli. Like tuxedo? Oh, I like okay. it. Patchouli. Okay. And well, once I, would I, read the, to, I would have to But try it's it. also warm, spicy, fresh, spicy. Like, that is, I would say, of all, like, I do have some perfumes mm -hmm. that, or colognes that, sometimes I just straight up buy men's cologne. Um, that one does smell more masculine, but I really like tuxedo. it. That is, I would wear that with a vanilla underneath. Okay. Layer it, and I really like it. It's like... I it's it's it. like smells like perfumes that I was really into when I first started learning about oh, layering when I was like in all that like before tobacco like vanilla morals. and like all the Tom Ford Tuscan leather yeah. and all the you know like when you it's like your first my first discovery to like however what does he call that that line his like perfume yeah you know but he has <laughs> like his like not like his more oh you're talking about Tom Ford yeah I'm fucking having a brain fart right what now what is it. Um, not top shelf, but you know what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> no, I don't know. You know, I will. It'll come to us later when we're okay. done filming this, and we won't care. But <laughs> it's what it is. We're gonna be talking about something completely different, and I'm gonna be like, N -n -n. it's like I know exactly what I'm talking about, but I can't think of what he ca he calls like his a different type of collection line of fragrances that are like more. Like commercial? No. The or more exclusive. Yeah, the more exclusive blends. I don't know what he calls them. Maybe it's that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. No, like he calls Jesus. Yeah, it's probably a different Yeah, I don't know. Who cares? I'm not Whatever. Gonna try. 
to figure it out. I don't. I really don't give a shit. I'm over this. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, Roberta. <laughs> The question of the moment. <laughs> On that note, which vanilla can you not live without? Ooh, the one vanilla that I cannot live without would have to be. Ooh, Ooh. I am starting <laughs> to really like this adult though. Yeah. All right, you know what? For the sake of layering, because I'm a layering type of bitch, I'm gonna have to say it'll have to be Tahota. Okay, because I'm not basic, but it is a it's a very basic vanilla. But it's because a true I'm vanilla. not, yeah. But because I'm not basic, I layer yeah. and I will put on something bomb, and it'll like create a concoction of just goodness and deliciousness and tastiness. Because I'm a tasty bitch. <laughs> well, what's yours? Hmm. And on that note, Miss Lena. <laughs> What would be your favorite go-to can't live without vanilla? Mm. I know it's hard. Okay, I'm going to pick one that I didn't mention, but I gave it to you here because it's the same as yours. It's in the fact that it's to me a very true vanilla. It's very sweet, it's very cakey, it's cupcake. It's like Oh, I love that. If you want a vanilla and just like what you know like when you can blind this is an easy blind buy and it's under $200 i think it's like 175 us that's a beautiful bottle gorgeous bottle and this is like it's exactly what you want vanilla to smell like it's not some weird you don't have to like be like oh yeah it's unique and be like fuck now where's my regular vanilla yeah. scent that i want this is it I feel like my Epico table. Epico, Vani, Charnel. I'm pretty sure that's what it's I feel called. like my table looks like the Macy's version of no all way. the perfumes. What? And you yours is like perfumes on Neiman there. Marcus. It's like. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, because I got like Jimmy Choo and Valentino. I do have a lot of department That Valentino store. one is fire. I love it. I do. That's a huge compliment getter by the men, by the way. Men it, love that It really smell. is. The only reason why I didn't choose it is because even mm, though it's considered it. vanilla, yeah, it's like, oh, that, yeah. Yeah. This, this is, is pretty. really delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So on that note, Epico Vani Charnel is the vanilla I can't live without. What is it called okay. again? Vani Charnel by Epico. How do you find these perfumes? I mean, I know, I feel like. My mouth just went like this. <laughs> like it's tasty. You know, we're not, we're, we haven't eaten lunch yet. So we're like starving. This makes me want a cupcake really bad. Yeah, right? It's just like a vanilla cupcake. It's beautiful. Well, that was great. I love seeing your collection, Lena, of all your favorite vanillas. I need to set my um, designer bottle game up. And she's, maybe. <laughs> she's being a clown because Roberta has like literally so many amazing. Products. No, I do. But I think my vanilla collection is not as like bougie as yours. Yeah. Well, I'm, okay. okay. This, is, this is like what Aquarians do is like we need to be weirdos and we need to be like the only ones, even if it's the only one in our delusional ass oh, mind. It okay. really is just like we need the weirdest, most special. And like I'll do research to make sure that you know that it's that or maybe i'm one of the first to get it so it is what <laughs> and it nobody is. else has it on that note thanks for shopping vanilla with us thank you <laughs> <laughs>